Hey guys, Andrew here again from ASIC Basics. And as you can tell, it's pretty quiet. So our last project with the noise mitigation on the L3 seemed to work pretty good. But sometimes they break. So uh, what we're going to talk today about is uh, how to repair the 14.2 volt boost circuit. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions from a lot of folks on that and have kind of talked them through it through text. But I figure, hey, let's go ahead and shoot a video about it. See how that works. As you can see, we've got damaged L1, missing C74, and that's essentially creating our issue. Now, D1 is removed. However, I took that off as I was doing some testing. You also see this is the version 1.6 ashboard, so some of the numbering is slightly different. However, in the boost circuit area, it's generally the same. These are the type of errors you'll see. You'll wind up seeing your ASICs won't show up uh, or random numbers will show up with them. So from Bitmain's repair manual, you can see we've got the boost circuit on the board. And essentially what we're trying to do here is by removing D1 and attaching our new boost circuit here to the cathode, which would be on this side, the cathode side, we're isolating everything over here and taking this out of play. Now, your new boost circuit uh, that you attach still will go through these series resistors to ground. You run a quick calculation and you're going to leak out 20 microamps of current. So if you want, you can remove R967 as well, uh, but it's not necessary. It is, however, absolutely necessary to remove D1. So you don't reverse bias this diode and anything on this side doesn't forward bias and mess up the voltage that you're putting. In layman's term, take that out, hook it up here, you should be good to go. Here's a boost circuit I found on Amazon, it's about a dollar each, so this is what we'll go ahead and dial into 14.2 volts for our new setup. As you can see, I have my MT3608 voltage regulator tacked down. And uh, also you can see I have D1 in the photo here. This is before I had removed it. What we're going to do is we're going to tie this in uh, we, once again on the 1.6 version board. And before we hook up the output, we're going to go ahead and dial it and measure that so that we don't run the risk of blowing up anything on the boost circuit, post boost circuit. We're going to run our ground to C1221. On version 1.5 and before, this is actually C948. And we're going to run our VN positive 10 volt to this side of L2. Now, there is the 10 volt voltage regulator circuit that is off the screen here. It comes to the inductor here, runs through the inductor. Basically, we'll get a clean signal from 10 volt for our input if we grab it from here. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, whatever you do, don't hook up the output until you've got the voltage dialed in. As you can see, we've now got our MT3608 wired in. I've got my ground tied into the ground side, my VN, my 10 volts tied on to uh, one of the legs of the L2. And we've dialed it in with our pot to 14.2 volts. So we've got our V out tied to the cathode side of D1. Cathode side is the side furthest away from L1. Uh, we don't want to tie to the anode where the little plus symbol is here because with D1 removed, that wouldn't reach the rest of the circuit board. That's why we removed D1 so that we can completely isolate our old damaged boost circuit from our new MT3608 14.2 volt circuit. So it's time to power it on and see how it goes. Oh, you get it all soldered and wired up? All right, we'll turn it on. Let's we'll see if it works. Success. Thanks again for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. Please visit my website and uh, drop me a line if you've got any questions or any projects or problems you want me to tackle.